Okay, so I am not a fan of laminate floor, but you stumbled upon this video because you made a choice to invest in this flooring. So I want to show you how to undercut the door jams to make sure everything looks great on your final installation here. So we're going to go ahead and take a laminate plank. I'm going to go ahead and take my multi-tool saw. I'm putting the plank up against the door jam there, and I'm tracing it with the multi-tool saw. We're going to go ahead and just work that back and forth, and the saw is definitely beneficial when you work with it. You get that good smoke coming out the sides there. That's how you know it's working well. And if you want a recommendation on saws, I recommend you buy the most economical one if you're the DIY type. Don't overspend. Not necessary. So once we get that fitting in there real nice, we know it's going to give it a good finish. We're going to take our screwdriver and remove the little door stopper on this pocket door here. And we actually broke the doorway because with the laminate, it's going to expand and contract. So you want the option to have it move from room to room and you're going to add a reducer in the doorway to let it flow a little bit as the weather gives it the option to expand and contract. So make sure you do that with your laminates, break your doorways. Although we love to see it flow, it could be problematic down the road. Final plank form, you could get away with that stuff because it really doesn't expand and contract. We're going to cut the front part of this here. And like I was saying, don't worry about the saw you purchased so much as you should be worried about how many blades you have because you will burn up these blades and a fresh blade will make your life that much easier. So once you cut through that there, you're going to line up your plank, make sure it fits under evenly at all sides, and then you could shape it out and get ready for this actual installation.